Hi there, uh, I'm kind of new at the YouTube video thing. Um, making a video here showing uh, Turks head bracelets, the ones I've made myself and wear. I, uh, I enjoy making them and wearing them. I'm thinking of making a video on, uh, on how to make them, a bit of a tutorial. Um, this is a quick video showing the ones that, that I've made myself. Uh, if you found this video, you probably know what a Turk's Head bracelet is. It's made out of a long, continuous strand of rope woven into a, a band, which, once complete, has no beginning or no end visible. Um, so the f ones I've made myself are made out of cotton cord, and uh, uh, once they're on, they're, they're uh, basically a permanent thing until I... Uh, I decide to cut them off or they eventually start to fall off. Um, first one here is around my wrist. It's made out of um, twisted cotton cord. I've had this one on for about nine months and uh, it's made basically so I can just get it over my hand and uh, then um, when it first gets wet, such as in a shower or, or whatever, it uh, shrinks down to a, to a fairly snug fit. And being cotton, it'll stay shrunk. It might shrink a bit more after a couple more showers. Then eventually it starts to get uh, take a bit of a shape and get a bit crusty and hard. Um, this one's starting to get a bit ratty. But uh, as you can see, it's a continuous band all the way around my wrist. It, um, it's uh, quite a snug fit. Um, it's quite comfortable because it's soft. It does get a little bit uncomfortable in hot weather because it is a fairly tight fit. It's fairly wide. Um, so if I wanted to remove this, I would have to cut it off. I don't think I could stretch it back over my hand. I might be able to, but but I wouldn't bother trying. And uh, my other one here I've, is around my ankle. Um, this one here is uh, it's actually the exact same pattern. It's um, it's a little bit uh, it's quite a bit wider than the one around my wrist. It's made out of thicker cord. It's actually braided cord which I think looks a little better. It uh, um, shows the pattern more, I think. But uh, this one here is a little bit looser than the one around my, my wrist. Um, as you can see, it's a continuous band all the way around my ankle. Um, this one here gets quite a bit of attention. It's quite large. and. Uh, and honestly, you don't see Turks heads around ankles very often. But uh, the reason you don't is because they're quite a bit more work. Whereas the one around my wrist, I can just make it so it's big enough to get over my hand and let the water do the rest of the work. Um, the one around my ankle has to be uh, made big enough to get over my foot and to get small enough to be fit properly around my ankle I have to manually bring in some of the slack while sitting on the couch or whatever and that takes probably a couple hours and it's not very easy when you're trying to do it on your own on your own leg so uh, once that's once it's the slack is brought in the um, ends are tied off and it's flipped inside out to hide the ends and then it shrinks a bit when it first gets wet um, and then it's done. So yeah, it gets a lot of questions on on how do I go, how I get it on, how, how do they do, how I get it off. So this would obviously have to be cut off um, if I wanted to take it off. But I usually wear them for a few years because they're quite a bit of work. Anyway, I uh, hope you like my video. And uh, eventually, I think I might make a tutorial on how to, how to make them. Thanks for watching. Bye.